The word for meditation, bhavana, means to develop. You're trying to develop good qualities inside. And this is something you do not only while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but as you go through the day. Keep watch over your mind. See what's coming up inside. And if you recognize something as unskillful, do what you can to get rid of it. If you recognize something as skillful, do what you can to maintain it and develop it. The problem is there are likes and likes get in the way. We tend to develop the things we like and to abandon the things we don't like. And our likes have no rhyme or reason often. Things you like today, you may dislike tomorrow. You can't take your likes and dislikes as a, as a guide. You have to think about what is the long-term result of what I'm going, doing right now. What will be the long-term result. And if you see that it's something you like to do, but the results are going to be bad, you've got to have the intelligence to talk yourself out of doing it, so that you really don't want to do it. No matter how much your other opinions may be saying. Same with things that you like to do. If you get bad results, you have to say no. In other words, you look at the long term consequences and take that as your guide. And then you have to teach your mind not to go with its likes and dislikes. This is where the image of the mind as a committee is useful. Some committee members are out of line. All they think about is what they like and dislike. It's like our politicians. They don't think about the long-term consequences of what they're doing. And look at what happens to the world as a result. We life has that same dynamic. As long as your likes and dislikes rule things, everything just falls apart. It's when you think about the consequences and learn how to train your mind to be happy about good consequences and unhappy about bad consequences. That's when you can be said to be discerning. That's the quality we're trying to develop inside. So it's not just discernment of not-self or emptiness or dependent core rising. It's the wisdom of being able to talk yourself out of what you like to do but will give bad results, and talk yourself into doing what you don't like to do that gives good results. It's a very simple measure for wisdom, but most of us fail. Some of the most knowledgeable people fail miserably at this. These are the people who think more strategically and are willing to train themselves, and not just rule the world with their opinions. Those are the people who advance not only their own well-being, but the well-being of the whole world around them.